This video is brought to you by Benson's Medical Equipment and Supplies, your one-stop solution for all your home medical needs. Thank you for joining us today. We will be discussing a few different support surfaces for a hospital bed. This video will be geared towards setting up and using the equipment, as well as showing you how each work so you can be more informed about the options out there. If you'd like more information about each of the support surfaces, we will include a link in the description below to our blog with more information on the topic. In this video, we will cover gel overlays, APP pads, and low air loss mattresses. Before we get started with the types of support services, let's quickly cover why this is important. When a patient is bed bound, preventing pressure ulcers from happening will become one of your biggest priorities. When it comes to bed sores, prevention is key. Pressure ulcers can develop in as little as a week, so doing anything you can to prevent this from happening will be ideal for the patient and the caregiver. According to WoundCareInc.com, pressure wounds may result from these three primary contributing factors. Sustained pressure, when skin and underlying tissues experience prolonged contact against a surface, such as a wheelchair or bed, skin cells may be damaged and eventually die. Friction. Friction occurs when a skin is dragged across the surface. For instance, when a patient is changing positions or is moved by a caregiver, friction is exacerbated when skin is moist. Shear. Shear occurs when two surfaces move in the opposite direction. And here are five ways you can reduce the risk of developing pressure wounds. Change positions frequently, every couple hours, to put less pressure on the skin. Keep the skin clean and dry. After washing, always pat skin dry with a towel. Do not rub. Use pillows between parts of the body that press against each other. For example, under the tailbone, shoulders, heels, and elbows, or if the patient's lying on their side, between the knees and ankles. Exercise. Even for patients who can't get out of bed, simply exercise and range of motion activities can help reduce the risk of pressure wounds. Gel mattress overlays. Use a gel mattress overlay to provide an essential barrier between the patient and the bed surface. With this information, we have a better idea of some of the causes and what you can do to help prevent them from happening. Now let's dig into each of the support services. First up is the gel overlay. This is exactly what it sounds like. A mattress overlay made from a gel material to help prevent pressure ulcers and bed sores. Combine this with an adjustable bed and you can improve the patient's comfort and quality of sleep. The gel mattress overlay provides an essential barrier between the patient and the surface which they are constantly in contact with. The mattress helps distribute the weight more evenly, in turn relieving pressure from any one given point, such as the patient's hip, tailbone, elbow, heels, and shoulder blades. They also help to manage moisture and prevent growth of bacteria and are easy to clean. To install this on your hospital bed, simply place on top of the existing mattress and use the four elastic straps to keep the overlay in place. The next one we will be going over is the APP pad or alternating pressure pump and pad. Alternating pressure systems effectively reduce pressure, aiding in the pressure sore prevention and treatment. The pump is compact, lightweight, and portable. Quietly, the pump provides the air supply to alternately inflate the soft pillow cells beneath the patient. The patient's sensitive body areas are provided with soothing, stimulating support and pressure relief every 30 seconds. The variable pressure setting accommodates all patient's comfort needs. Let's go over how to use the APP pad. Place the bubble pad flat on the base mattress, which should be on the bed frame. The inflation tubes should be towards the foot end so that they can be connected to the inflation nozzles on the pump. Cover with a cotton sheet to avoid direct skin contact and reduce friction. Hang the pump over the frame or board at the foot end of the bed. Make sure the pump is secure. Connect the inflation tubes from the bubble pad to the pump's inflating nozzles. Make sure they are pr properly attached. Plug the power cord into an electrical outlet grounded AC power. Turn on the power by pressing the power switch at the right side of the pump. Make sure to disconnect the pump by unplugging the cord when it is not in use. 
The last mattress cover we will be going over is the low air loss mattress. This mattress is used for those who are suffering from pressure ulcers or patients at high risk. The low air loss mattress is composed of multiple inflatable air tubes that alternately inflate and deflate, mimicking the movement of a patient shifting in bed or being rotated by a caregiver. Never leaving the patient in one position for an extended period of time. So let's go over how to install this type of mattress. Place the mattress on top of the bed frame. Make sure the hose is at the foot of the bed. There are secure straps on the base of the mattress. Secure the mattress firmly by fixing the straps to the bed frame. Ensure that moving sections of the bed are still free to move. Hang the pump onto the foot end of the bed and adjust the hangers. Please note, you do not want to place the unit on the floor. Connect the quick connector from the air mattress to the control unit. When a click sound is felt or heard, the connection is complete and secured. Please note that the control unit is only operational when the quick connector is connected to the system. Also check to ensure the air hoses are not kinked or tucked under the mattress. Then plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Turn the main power switch on. The system will automatically go into auto fur mode for a few minutes to inflate. When the initial inflation is complete, the system will automatically enter the static mode. Using the comfort weight setting buttons, adjust according to the weight and height of the patient. Adjust the pressure setting to the most suitable level without bottoming out. This was just a short insight of some options to re help reduce pressure and prevent ulcers for your loved one. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest content.